In this video, I'm going to show you how you can freeze frames from any part of your footage in DaVinci Resolve. So right now, as a demonstration, I have this footage and let me just play this. And here you can see it is running very quickly. The flow is quite fast. In order to add a freeze in your frame, you need to decide where you want that frame to be. So for example, I want this frame freeze to be at one second. So just move this timeline to or this cursor to the area where you want this to freeze and right click on your footage and then click on change clip speed. And over here, you need to select this freeze frame option and then click on change. And here you will see this will add a cut automatically. And if you play this now, you will see that this will now freeze right where we had this line. So basically, whenever you have this line and then you right click and go over, select cl change clip speed and select freeze frame, this will add that freeze frame right there. So if you will see that right now we have is a very sharp cut, as you can see, it just quickly gets cut. But there is another way to do that. And in that, you can also smooth it or you can change the speed of the clip before it even freezes. So let me just undo this. And now I will show you that. So right now, what you need to do is right click over here and then go over to Redime Curve. And if you will go over here, you will see that this gives us some, this gives us this panel, but you need to click over here and then select Redime Frame. So there will be an option called Redime Frame if you click over here. So over here, you will see that we have these keyframes right here. And this is for the Redime Frame. Now, wherever you want this freeze to be, you need to take once again your timeline to that position. So for example, once again, I want this to be at one second. And right here, what you need to do is just right click over here and then also select Retime Controls. And this will give you an option for this drop down right here. And go over to this setting called Freeze Frame and click on it. And here you will see this automatically added the freeze frame this is just like we did before but this time we're doing it from this panel right here so once again remember the settings right click and then you need to enable the read time control and then once you have that go over here and you can select freeze frame and you will see that we have two of them now so over here you will see that from this position till this position this is at zero percent and from here this is at 100 so the zero means that this is star this is like the freeze that we have so one amazing thing about this one is that if you select any keyframe that you have so for example i selected this keyframe now you can click on this icon right here and you will get the option for changing the speed before it even freezes so for example i did this i clicked on this and then i dragged this line and make sure you have this option selected so let me just play this for you and uh, you'll see how this works so it slows down and then and then it freezes and you can always go ahead and then start to adjust this accordingly but this is how it looks at the moment and you can also do the same thing right here so right now you will see that this freezes right here but if you go over to this position click on this one this keyframe and then select this option and you can do the same thing from here as well. So if you play this now, so here you will see this works just fine. So let's go over here once again. Let me just do something like this. So this depends on the footage that you have basically. So right now I wanted this to freeze right here, but we did it by changing the speed of the clip as well. You can say we slowed down the footage before we did the frame and then we also did it. But over here, you will see that we get not a very good look. So what you can do is just slightly add one, slightly. And this looks fine. This was it for this video. I hope you will find this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.